You're a really bad liar, Toad. Like, really bad. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I might just smack him with this. I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Nope. You're a liar. Oh, window examine. Looks fine. Fingerprints. Toad. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. I no. There's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. But the lock is broken. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. I'm yeah. so bad at lying. Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. Really bad at lying. So, yeah, exactly. You heard uh, the new... Uh, Taking Stevens album yet? Your lock's broken, motherfucker. Why are you trying to lie to me? Thought you wouldn't need keys. Since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. <laughs> and I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree so fucking bad at Big life. Thing. Come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... They're sniffing around at me private belongings. Oh, fuck off, phone. Oh, Come on. Cool, really, I am. But will you please... Please just bugger okay, off. Phone. Not yet. Not yet, <sighs> you say to my face. And you think I'm hiding something from you? Yes, Toad. Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? Never. I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you oh, want? Oh my god. You lie, Toad. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. Yeah, because I knew. You want to tell me what's going on? Oh, fucking Toad. She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Oh ho ho! Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Come on, Take Toad. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman ain't. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. Oh, shut the fuck he up. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take a live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. Oh. A lot of us are. We should have killed him. Really? We were lucky it didn't go any further. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. 
but he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my poor. Oh, poor kid. I don't give a fuck. He tried to give a bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Yeah, kid, let's go. Let's go. Fine bit of dress it is. Yeah, Toad's fucking annoying. I don't like him. And it's hidden in the chimney, obviously. Oh, shit, it's her donkey thing. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. And there's a note on it. Wait. Nope, give me that note. It's an envelope. Envelope, I guess. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Keep it, open it. Don't make it a dilemma. Let's go give it to him. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. What the f Fuck off. You little shit, don't call me again. Hope you get your ass killed next time. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. <sighs> and Poor don't kid. worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman... Try down at the trip trap. Thank you, asshole. Smoke up. Four twenty blaze. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So split a cab. Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know. Someone who will know where to find him. I guess we're going to drink. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Why don't I go to Lawrence and give him the thing? Panic in the parlors. The fuck? Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. That's the way shit works, Snow. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby? Yes? Be honest with me. Who do you think... You. Is? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. We're just gonna stay quiet. I don't know who the fuck did it. It's an uncomfortable feeling. I don't know, girl. I can't tell you. I can't tell if you don't know or just won't say. Left her unsure. Poor girl. Wait, that taxi driver is the same guy from the hotel some guy we ran into not as bad as I thought good job thanks for your help yeah thank you thanks I for wish you. there was sorry go ahead I was going to say go ahead I didn't mean to cut you off no it's go ahead bitch it's nothing I just well, why didn't he tell her what... Thank her, man. Seeing all this today... There are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. Yeah. You just think of the Do rich and stuff. To prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. You can't do anything. This isn't how I thought it would be. Do something about it. Runs things his own way. 
Yeah, Crane's the problem. Crane is the one to blame here, not you. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. So fucking do something I'm about it then. Than anyone. You'll fix it. You better fix it. Or else I'll be coming after you. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, no. I turn Going in the uh, rear entry is always best, you know, back doors and stuff. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. It's kind of depressing, man. Maybe this isn't for me. Stick with it, you'll figure it I out. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. Yeah, she's big. Maybe you could leave. We should get out of there. If it's as bad as you say it is, maybe there are better ways to get things done outside of the system. It's something I have to consider. Yeah, quit that job. Never took you for a quitter. We're not talking about me. Trip trap. Alright. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. <laughs> Is that her pimp? Yeah. Maybe I should. Bigby. Oh my god, let me do my job, lady. I... Um, just be careful. Please. I'll try my best. Always, you too. The same goes for you. I will. Well, let's go into the bar and see if the woodsman's there. <laughs> 